What's more American than two strokes to the sand dunes? It's a 500 two stroke in an aluminum frame. So there comes a point in everyone's life where you have a goal, a project, or just something you want to accomplish and see it through from the beginning all the way till the end. Well, in Kevin Sorensen's case, it was to build a CR500 AF. Now, for those of you that don't know, AF stands for aluminum frame. And what's so cool about this bike is that, well, Honda never made a 500 two-stroke with an aluminum frame. So Kevin and his brother, they decided that they were gonna take a 1988 CR500 two-stroke engine and stuff it into a 2007 CRF 250R frame. Now, many of you realize this too, but you can't just take that engine and put it into this frame. There's a lot of customization, a lot of fab work. There is a lot of things on this bike that are so cool, like the pipes, the head stays, the air boot, and a lot of other custom parts. So we wanted to bring Kevin out here, who's the creator of this wonderful build. We're out here at Little Sahara Sand Dunes, and we would just want to hear the background story of why you guys decided to do this project, a lot of the fabrication that went into it, and maybe some of the problems that you guys encountered along the way. So, Kevin, welcome. Kevin's the R&D engineer, by the way, at Rocky Mountain. Kevin, why a CR500 AF? Why not? That's uh, a good answer. <laughs> well, to be honest, we always my brother and I always thought the idea of having a 500 would be freaking awesome. So the stars actually aligned. We were able to get our hands on a, a very, very good condition, 1988 CR500 uh, that my brother knew the backstory on. It, it had basically been sitting on a shelf for about 20 years. And uh, so we got that bike lined up and we checked the local classifieds and found a blown 250, which are about a dime a dozen today, ended up paying about $400 for the 250 by the time we were done and just started to go to work. I mean. So once you found the bikes, you're like, all right, did you guys have any experience with anything like this before? Or did you guys just say, well, you know what, we're gonna have to do the research and figure it out on our own? So I've actually built a bike for my wife before and I've, I've, I've had a big background in fabrication and motorcycles all my life, so. Well, I'm it, sure a, a lot of people are probably wondering, well, what does it take? Because if I were gonna build one of these things, I'd wanna know, well, what do I gotta do? What kind of fab skills do I need? So kind of walk the viewers through and tell them, what were the big things that need to be done that you might not realize to get this thing complete? All right, the most critical thing, obviously, is how do you get the motor into that aluminum frame? You gotta tweak it a little bit, shape it, form it, massage it. Uh, we ended up uh, hacking the frame, and there's a company that makes a new billet Y piece to allow the exhaust to fit through the frame in the engine. So you hack the frame, fit the Y piece into the frame, and that gets your, your main obstacle out of the way. Once you get that welded, then you're working on motor mounts, uh, you've got to form the gas tank actually over the spark plug to, to get the gas tank to fit. And then it's just a bunch of little nickel and dime stuff here and there that just takes up a lot of time and effort. Now another thing, Kevin, you were talking about earlier is with the motor mounts and the head stays, you had to fabricate those as well, right? Yeah, all the motor mounts are, are custom fabricated. We have to custom fabricate some bushings so the swing arm would align right and still hold the motor in place. Right on. So one of my favorite parts that I saw right away was you have dual two-stroke exhaust pipes on here. You wanted to keep the theme of the 07 Honda 250F. So how did you make that work on this bike? So I'm not really sure it's a performance advantage, but we really love the look. And to make it work, um, we actually had to build our own Y piece, modify the expansion chamber, cut it off a little bit short, uh, build our own Y piece to come out of that, line up to the original 07 250F dual exhaust position and we got two FMF power core two silencers spitting out this uh, smoky 500 exhaust. <laughs> That's pretty incredible you guys were able to do all that. So you got your pipes on there we talked about the engine was there anything else on this bike that the viewers would maybe want to know or is that really the bulk of the big kind of projects you had to do to get everything put together? So really it's not doing it justice just to go over these things there's so many little things that go into this but that's really the critical stuff you need to worry about. The rest of the stuff you can kind of figure out as you go along. And how long was it start to finish for you and your brother to put this thing together? So that's the kind of interesting part. So the stars aligned, we had the bikes in, in order, and we actually had a huge ride 
uh, a 20 year anniversary ride with our dad. And my brother decided, he, he actually had the 88 500 in perfect running condition, beautiful bike. And uh, he's like, you know what? Let's go ahead and throw that engine in there. We're leaving in two weeks. Let's throw that engine in there and take it on that 200 mile ride with so our dad. So you did this in two weeks start to finish. It actually ended up being 10 days to be precise. Wow. So we had everything lined out, worked hard on it for 10 days straight. Man, everything just came together. And the night before we started this thing up, had to tweak the carb a little bit, get it dialed in, but took it on a 200 mile ride the next day, next two days. And the only thing we lost was the, uh, the set screw in the brake lever. Everything had blue Loctite on it because this thing vibrates so dang bad. <laughs> the only thing we lost and forgot the Loctite was that little set screw. So he didn't have a good front brake for the whole 200 mile. So Kevin, I heard you mention the carburetor. Now that is one other thing I want to ask you about because I know that you guys don't have the stock air box on here. That was one other thing you had to change, right? So it's actually the stock air box. It was the air boot we had boot. to change. And we had to make an adapter plate to go from the 250F air box. And we used a CR125 air boot. And uh, it still doesn't align perfectly with the engine. You've got to kind of put the carb on the air boot and then twist it just enough to get it on the, the intake boot of the engine. But it's good enough. So Kevin, last question I have, I know this is going to get asked a lot in the comment section is, Start to finish, for all the bikes and parts, what did this thing cost? So both bikes, everything to put it together, a complete refresh with all new bearings, bushings, everything on here to make it a new bike, it was about seven grand. So yeah, 7,000 really doesn't sound that bad to have a fully custom CR500 AF. You just gotta have some fabrication skills. Now we're not gonna go through and bore you guys with every single thing that is on here. We're gonna have all that in the description below. You guys can click on that link, but what are some of the notable parts on here that kind of made it feel like more like a modern motorcycle that you would say are must-haves for this bike? Well, one of the first things you notice when you start up a 500 is how much it vibrates like crazy. So we got some fast flex bars. Uh, Fasco hooked us up with these fast flex bars uh, and they help with the mitigation of the vibration. Uh, also, they gave us these impact foot pegs and those should help out with the vibration as well. Uh, braking was a little bit lacking on this older bike, so we put an oversized front brake rotor from Tusk on there, and it's got excellent stopping power. And then one other one that I want to mention that I think is awesome is the Magura hydraulic clutch. If you want to have better clutch pull, that thing is absolutely key. Oh yeah, and mandatory on a 500. Right on. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for coming out here, letting us be a part of this bike build. You guys have done a phenomenal job. But now the important part, we're going to get suited up, and Kevin's going to go rip this thing in the dunes. That's right.